today's topic is rates and unit rates. These are things that you're already going to be familiar with. Maybe you've never thought that they had anything to do with math class, but it's going to be things like 25 miles per hour or three meals per day. Uh, maybe you say somebody makes $8 per hour or you grew five inches per year. All of those are examples of unit rates. So you already use them. So let's talk about what they mean and how we figure them out. First thing we want to do is get the definition of rate into our notebook. So a rate is a ratio that's going to compare two quantities that are measured in different units. Now what does this mean? We've already talked about ratios. A ratio is just a fraction that's going to compare two things. The difference with a rate is that the two things are going to be measured in different units. So instead of comparing inches to inches, we might be comparing inches to years or miles to hours or dollars per day. So a ratio that just compares two things that are measured in different units. Go ahead and pause if you need to get caught up. And let's go ahead and take a look at an example of a rate. So it's the holidays. Let's say that the Smiths are going to visit Grandma. And Grandma lives about 150 miles away they need to get to grandma's house in three hours so that they're not late for their turkey dinner. We want to know what their rate of travel needs to be. So how are we going to do this? First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the information that we know. We know that they have to travel 150 miles. We know that it's going to take them three hours. What we do next is we set up a ratio, set up a rate where we put the 150 miles over the three hours. So just setting up a ratio 150 to 3, 150 miles to 3 hours. This gives us our rate. So the Smiths are traveling 150 miles in 3 hours. Now usually when we talk about how we travel, we're not talking about a rate. We're talking about a unit rate. We talk about our speed, which is an example of a unit rate. So let's go on and talk about unit rate. If we want to know the speed, what we need to find is the unit rate. Unit rate is, and make sure you get this into your notes, a rate whose denominator is 1. So it's a rate, which we've already set up, but we want to make the denominator 1. So in order to do this, we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So whatever number's on the bottom of our fraction, we're going to divide the top and the bottom by that number. I'll give you just a minute. Pause if you need to. Make sure you have the definition of unit rate written in your notes. And then we'll come back and we'll do an example. Okay, I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at grandma's house again, okay? And let's say that instead of finding the rate, I want to find the unit rate. So I'm going to set up my problem 150 miles over three hours, set up the rate. Then I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by three. Three is my bottom number, so I want to divide by three. When I do that, I get 50 miles on the top, one hour on the bottom, and that tells me that I need to go at a unit rate at a speed of 50 miles per hour. So I've just divided by the bottom number to come up with my unit rate, 50 miles per hour to go to grandma's house. And the magic word for today is grandma. So make sure you make note of that so that you can show me you watch the video. Okay, let's go ahead and look at another example. And let's say that during exercise, my heart beats at a rate of 675 times in five minutes. How many times does my heart beat per minute? So I need to find the unit rate. I'm going to set up my problem. I'm going to take my 675 beats, put that over top of my five minutes. 
then I'm going to divide by my bottom number, divide by my 5, and that gives me a unit rate of 135 beats for every one minute. So another example of how to find the unit rate. Now let's let you try. Before, though, just a hint, if you see the words per, so miles per hour, dollars per day, dollars per hour, students per class, students per teacher, you have a unit rate. So anytime you see that word per, that's a hint that you're talking about the unit rate. Okay. You try this example. To make four large pizzas, I need 88 pieces of pepperoni. I want to know how many pieces of pepperoni do I need for one pizza, per pizza. Go ahead, pause the video, take a minute, see if you can figure this one out. Okay, let's take a look at our answer. We've got 88 pepperonis and four pizzas. That's our beginning rate. What we're going to do next is we're going to divide top and bottom by 4. So top and bottom both by our bottom number 4. And that's going to give me 22 pepperonis for one pizza. So that's my unit rate, 22 pepperonis per pizza. Double check your work. And let's try one more example. Let's say I'm going to travel 280 miles to visit my cousin this Christmas, but I need to make it there in six hours. So I'm on a limited schedule, six hours to get there. What should my average speed be in miles per hour? So I'm looking for miles per hour. Take a minute to set up your ratio. And let's check our answer. It was okay to round on this one. So I set up 280 miles over six hours. Next thing I'm gonna do, because six is on the bottom, I'm gonna divide by six on top and bottom. That gives me about 46.7 miles per one hour. So my average rate of speed would need to be about 47 miles per hour. Double check your work. And let's talk about how we're going to use this in the real world. Unit rates are all around us. We use unit rates all the time, especially for things like shopping. So we're going to look at a couple of examples of how we're going to use these for shopping. If you go in Kroger or Walmart or Meijer or any of those stores, you're probably going to see two prices listed on the shelf. One will be the big price. That's the one in the yellow here. I found this at Walmart. And that's the price that you're going to pay for that container. So those are the prices for the container of cashews. The smaller price, it's in here in red, that's your unit rate. So usually stores figure that out for you. Okay, it'll tell you the price per ounce or the price per pound. So the store is going to help you figure out what that is. But we're going to do a couple of examples on our own. So let's look at our Walmart example again. I want to know what the better buy is, the planners or the great value cashews. Now, let's look at the information that we have. The planners are $13.98, that's my price for the whole container, and there's 33 ounces in that container. I want to find price per ounce. So I'm going to take my $13.98, and I'm going to divide top and bottom by 33, and that's going to give me a unit rate of about $0.42 cents per one ounce, so 42 cents an ounce. And I blocked it out there on the, the price tag, but had I not blocked that out, you could see that that's what they had there, okay? So let's look at the great value. On the great value, the price for the entire container is 12.42, but the great value container is only 32 ounces. It's cheaper 
but it only contains 32 ounces. So let's see if this is actually a better buy. I'm going to divide top and bottom by 32. When I divide that out, I'm going to come up with 39 cents for one ounce. So if we're looking for the better buy, the great value is definitely the better buy. Let's take a look at another example. This one comes from Kroger, and Kroger had a four pack of batteries on sale, and the four pack of batteries was $1.99. So let's find out what the unit rate is on that one. The eight pack of batteries is $4.99. So to find my unit rate, I'm gonna put my $1.99 over four batteries, I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by four, and that's going to give me 50 cents for one battery. To do the eight pack, I'm going to put my 4.99 over my eight batteries. I'll divide that out, divide top and bottom by eight, and that gives me about 62 cents per battery. So the better buy, definitely the four pack of batteries. You try this one. On Amazon, I found Powerade, a 12 pack for $12.99. It was a fruit punch flavor. Or I found a 24 pack for $33.99. Still the fruit punch flavor, still the same size. So go ahead, set this up, try to find the unit rate for the 12 pack and the unit rate for the 24 pack and then come back and check your answer. Okay, so let's check. I set up my division for my 12 pack, $12.99 over 12 bottles. That's my rate. I'm going to find the unit rate by dividing top and bottom by 12. And that gives me a dollar eight per bottle. So a dollar eight for one bottle if I buy the 12 pack. Let's take a look at the 24 pack. My $33.99 over my 24 bottles. To find the unit rate, I'm going to divide top and bottom by 24. And that's going to give me a dollar 42 for one bottle. So which is the better buy? Usually we think the bigger pack is going to be the better buy, but definitely not today on Amazon. The 12 pack was the better buy. So we'll try this in class tomorrow. Think about better buys. Think about how we can use this when we're spending, when we're traveling, and we'll try some more in class. Thanks, guys.